Hey guys, welcome back. I'm glad you guys have joined me and I tell you what guys, we have got a really good one. Uh, we are on our way down to the New York uh, Bow Hunting Festival at Swain Ski Resort and uh, man, we are excited. The weather's a little bit iffy, but we're going for it, man. We're going to get down there. We're going to set up our gear. Um, uh, both Eric, I, and uh, Jeff, uh, we're going to be setting up our backpacking uh, camping setups. Uh, we're going to give those a good test run uh, for tonight. And uh, that way we, uh, we know what to expect when we actually get out there during the hunting season. And uh, we spend a couple nights in the woods. So we're going to give those guys a whirl. And uh, yeah, guys, thanks for joining us. Let's get out there. Let's, uh, let's make this happen. Jeff and Eric here with me. We have got our camp set up for uh, this archery event. And um, as we talked about before, we're actually uh, testing out our backpacking setup. So what do you guys think so far of your guys' setup? I like it so far. I just want to see how it performs when I go to sleep. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm a little worried about the, the wind we're getting here because these tents are set up broadside to the wind. Yeah, so right, it's, it's right. gonna be interesting. To yeah, we're definitely well, we're we're putting them to the test. So yeah, we're kind of like out yeah. in the open here. Yeah, we're so. right in a field area here, so we're definitely putting them to the test. Let's take a look at how these things look. All now. right, so this is uh, Eric's setup. Eric, what do you got? What are you running? I got the camp pal, one person tent, sleeping air mattress with the pi uh, air pillow, and then I got a Teton. Uh, sleeping bag sleeping bag it's rated to i think uh below or up to 30 degrees awesome man and these carbon fiber uh trekking, trekking poles jeff let's take a look at what you got here uh-huh looks like we got the go next two person backpacking tent custom soft wood poles <laughs> yeah right. heck yeah man and uh, got a couple of trekking poles for the, the side guidelines. Nice. Yep. Looks good, Jeff. Yeah. All Amazon Chinese stuff. What, what's that sleeping bag? Rialo. Rialo, yeah. You know what? I used it uh, at Etar and it was all right. For it what worked I, out for good. For the $9 I paid for it. <sighs> and the tent was 26 bucks. Oh my gosh. You can't beat it. See you guys, there you go. You can do it cheap if you, you want. You can do it cheap, guys. So I'm running the leaky poles. Um, these are poles that I picked up recently. Picked them up last year. I'm running the River Country Products A-Frame two-man tent. All right, so I'm running a North Face sleeping bag. I'm running the uh, Outdoorsman Lab pad. And then I'm running a hike venture pillow off of Amazon that's it that's the setup inside and uh, before we head to bed tonight we're definitely got to run these uh, bows a little bit more to keep doing some shooting we do 
Yeah. I haven't even shot yet. Yeah. You gotta put some arrows down range. Well guys, day two and uh, we are headed up on the lift today. It's been um, exactly one year since I got on this lift and uh, it's pretty cool. This has uh, been very nice. Glad to be up here once again. Again, it's an absolutely beautiful day here today and I'm uh, very happy that we've got this nice weather. It's like 70 degrees, 72 degrees. It's perfect. So. Um, yeah, we're gonna head up here. We'll probably do course number three and shoot our way down. Once you hit the platform, you're gonna stand up and walk down there as quick as you can. All right. Keep on coming. Nice. Thanks, guys. Up a little. Down in front of his dick. There you go. All right, well, that was shot number one on this course, and I uh, felt a little rushed. But uh, here we're at shot number two, and uh, we're going to take that, slow it down a little bit here. The whole core has to come out on that one. Yeah, it's a good thing to shorten it up a little bit. Alright. It's been a rough day. Rough day shooting so far. So hopefully I can put this together for a little bit shorter distance. We'll probably about maybe 16, 18 yards or something. Still shooting right, I gotta figure it out. Nice shot. Pretty good shooting, man. Well, Jeffrey, what do you think so far on this north course? I like it. It's nice and cool and shaded up here. Yes, man. It's, uh, it's huge. It is very nice course. So we, we're probably about halfway down the mountain right now. So, you know, I feel like my shooting's pretty good. Yeah. This is the first time I've shot this thing since hunting season. Yeah. Well, it's been, I don't know, nine months. Nine months, yeah. That's a good thing that we're out here practicing for sure. Hey, Eric, and how's it been for you so far, brother? Well, in the beginning, I had different, well, considering I haven't shot all year, uh, I just got this bow in March, and I haven't shot it. This is the first 3D shoot of the year. I've been so busy, but I had the wrong arrows on it. Yeah. Um, my knock point was off. 
brace height was off, but I got it all got it all set now and I'm doing a lot better. Yeah. Nice. Good one, Eric. Still getting used to this. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's but the once thing. I once I see where I miss, then I make the adjustment and then I'm there. Holy cats, where they put that target serious business. Got bro. Man, my quads are burning up right now, coming down the hill. Good exercise. Shooting has been pretty poor on my end, but this has been very good exercise for sure. Wow, guys, what do you guys think? I had a great time. Good Dave. time? Yeah. Good. A lot of interesting Ooh. shots at this one. Yeah. yeah, this course was definitely pretty interesting. It's definitely tailored more for uh, compound, compound guys. Shooters. Yep, 100%. But I had fun. Yep. We didn't lose any arrows. Yep, that was a huge success. And I tuned my bow yep. to where it's supposed to be. Very good. And I got to test out my uh, my uh, camping gear. Yes, that's a huge benefit. Yeah, that was a big thing for me. Sure yeah. wasn't like sleeping on my memory foam mattress, but right, it did the job. I mean, what do you guys think of your setups? I'm moderately happy with it. I'm gonna make a few changes, but I was concerned that tent for how cheap it was was gonna be a a sieve, but it didn't seem to leak or anything. It was big enough. It's good. We had like two hours of rain last night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we got I, right didn't, I didn't get no water in my tent. No. Um, the mattress worked fine. The pillow worked fine. I'm ready. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, in my case, though, the tent held up really well. Um, the moisture that I had in it was actually just condensation. I had some condensation on the interior walls. Um, I don't know if that's normal with that particular tent, but a single wall tent, I imagine it is. All right, guys. So for Eric, Jeff, and Danny, till the next one.